Hello, we are discussing about GATE 2002 ECE paper and the topic we are discussing is electronic devices. This is first two mark question came in 2002 GATE. The question is related to Zener diode voltage regulator. This is a circuit diagram is simple voltage regulator using Zener diode. A Zener diode regulator in figure is to be designed to meet the specifications IL load current of 10 mA V0 output voltage of 10 volts and V input is varying from 30 volts to 50 volts and the Zener diode has Zener breakdown voltage of 10 volts and Zener knee current of 1 mA for satisfactory operation the value of R A R less than or equal to 1800 ohms B R is in between 2000 to 2200 ohms C R between 3700 to 4000 ohms D R greater than 4000 ohms where R is nothing but series resistance which is in between input and output the right option for this question is A so the series resistance R should be less than or equal to 1800 ohms. We see the details now. This is a given Zener diagram, Zener voltage regulator, and the requirement is load current has to be 10 mA, output voltage is going to be 10 volts, input is voltage is varying from 30 to 50 volts and Zener breakdown voltage is given as 10 volts and Zener knee current. Zener knee current is nothing but minimum Zener current required to keep the Zener diode in breakdown region that is given as 1 mA. We need to find the value of R. Let I be the current flowing through resistor R. So here we are not indicating but the current flowing through this resistor is I. Assume like this. So I can be written as IZ plus IL. Current flowing through R is dividing into Zener diode as well as load so that I is going to be equal to IZ plus IL. Since IL is 10 mA, it has given constant so that I can be written as IZ plus 10 mA but as I value varies when input changes is going to be from 30 volts to 50 volts, we can generalize the equation like this. I should be greater than or equal to IZK plus IL. Whenever at minimum the current flowing through Zener diode is IZ knee current plus the current flowing through load total must be flowing through this R resistor. So the current flowing through this one is going to be minimum of IZ minimum plus IL or it can be more than that one. So if you are going with I should be greater than or equal to 11 mA because IZ knee is 1 mA IL is 10 mA. So the current flowing through resistor R must be greater than or equal to 11 mA. This is a standard equation we can get from the circuit diagram. This is going to be used to calculate the value of R. So first case, when V input is equal to 30 volts, when V input is equal to 30 volts, current flowing through the resistor R is, can be written as I is equal to V input minus V naught, V input minus V naught divided by R, V input is 30, V naught is 10, 30 minus 10 by R, that is 20 by R. From equation 1, this current must be greater than or equal to 11 mA. So 20 by R should be greater than or equal to 11 mA. So that yields R should be less than 18, 18 ohms, that is 20 by 11 mA is nothing but giving 1818 ohms. Case 2, when V input is 50 volts, by that time the current flowing through resistor R can be written as V input minus V naught by R that is 50 minus 10 by R. So it is 40 by R. From equation 1, I should be greater than or equal to 11 mA. So 50, 40 by R should be greater than or equal to 11 mA. So R should be less than or equal to 36, 36 ohms. From these two things, from these two cases, R value has to be less than or equal to 1818 
or R value has to be less than 3636. You cannot choose a value between 1818 and 3636. If you choose like that, this condition satisfies but this condition fails. So if you choose the R value less than 1818 ohms by that time which satisfies both cases. So choose R is going to be less than or equal to 1818 ohms. So the correct option for the given problem approximate answer is R should be less than or equal to 1800 ohms. So the correct option is A. Thank you.